Okay, let's go ahead, unlock our view. We'll take our output and drag quite a bit out. At this point, what's happening, I want to create several views. Our high output, it's normal map, we'll use it for high. But because we'll start adding some colors view and everything, I want to create overlay view. With overlay view, it will help me to preview how my map will look on this terrain. So let's go to output and we'll go click on overlay view and just place it right here. The next what we're going, it's using, um, by using colorizers right here, we'll go to convert some of this map to our color. So let's go right here. First, we'll take our primary input. And if we're going to open our color map, okay, let's go to select maybe um, some gradients we have it. And you can select from classic mountains, desert, dirt and grass, whatever you like it. But I'm going from beginning, probably used maybe sandstone for this layout we can preview right here map and this will be our first kind of colorizer the next i want to combine and i want to create with uh, some flow so we'll go ahead and create another colorizer and we'll just go select our flow map to colorizer you can preview right here you can see we have a nice flow map let's also use it the same what we have before Let's sandstone for this. You can see we have it beautiful. And now we want to combine those together. So for this one, we are actually going to the combiners. We'll use the combiner. Okay, combine those two values. Okay. As an option for the combiner, we're going to use the root combiner. Okay. And we can go all the way to the side. So in the sum and previews, you can see what is happening, but we also add to the root this nice value. So if we're going to preview like overlay, so we'll go right here and connect high map. Okay, on this case, if we preview, you can see we have a nice right here. It's where we add some effect from our um, flow kind of channels. This is our kind of first, first map, what we're going to do. Okay, next, I want to add additional colorizers and combiners, but we're going to create them to different um, areas. Like, for example, let's go create a new one, and we'll go to um, add one more. Oops, I don't know, on this, I want colorizer. So I'm going to maybe place, you know, three more different colorizers right now. And I will take one before right here from this version that we have it from flow way before so we'll go connect to our colorizer at this point okay and for this one actually let's go look what we can use we have it a dirt and grass so it's probably going to use this one okay, we can preview you can see we have it a nice options applied okay we'll go to add additional combiner in some case because we go to use so I will go copy paste same color combiner and here's the trick we go from this combiner connect to the top and we take from colorizer connecting so we kind of combine them together one over another one so let's go inside preview and you can see we added with a root and you can try different one but we kind of start blending them so they're not overwhelmed but right here a little bit green and in some cases what happened when you have it like maybe plant or water going a little bit greenish effect added to those areas. Again, this one, so you can always come and kind of try play around, see which one you think it's work best. So just find out. Okay, next colorizer right here, we'll just go utilize all of these nodes. So we'll have a beautiful um, output on a wear map. We'll just go right here. Same, let's go create uh, copy paste our combiner for this one. Okay. And uh, we'll go select output from here. And we'll take our colorizer and connecting directly from this point. Um, for this colorizer, it's depend which one you like it. You can look on different. I'm just going to use maybe uh, some drainage effect. You know, maybe even just readjust some of these maps, you know kind of play around and, and you can reposition how you want it doesn't really matter 
as long as you kind of preview your map and it's work good um only except right here root you can see it's become too bright so i'm going for this one to use its screen so we'll go add this way and you know as a screen we can same just play a little bit around i think this is will apply better let's go put it in okay at this point if we preview you can see it's come up quite a bit white so we need to rework a little bit on some of the settings because we have a too bright to kind of whitish color so we'll need to fix it some of that okay in the next let's go do this um, I want to add additional kind of effect but I want um, probably create another colors to add to this but also with these colors we can utilize our masking to remove some of those brightness so for example if we take this mask and combine to ours you can see we just brighten only those areas with the flow so we did not affect other ones so for example with this colorizer right here which is combining okay, let's move a little bit this way we'll just take it from flow and connecting this so right here you can see we add green a little bit better so it's kind of like add one another part okay so we also can take our this part if we create it and we can take from flow isolated and add to our flow so we add kind of even more right the point you can see right there those areas flow so in this case we do preserve original coloring but now with applying masking to this area overlay we remove some of this kind of very bright coloring so let's go do and apply some additional um values and we have it right here we have it our depositing map okay and you know what actually because we already utilize i'm going to do something different i'm just going for this to that colorizer so we have it kind of interesting combinations going right here so you don't necessarily can use all of them some of them like for example where map it was acting as the mask for us and we're using as coralizer we was using the deposit map i think this maybe work a little bit better because blue we can add a little bit more around the water kind of coloring so a little bit greenish right on a bottom wise deposit okay so we have it one more let's use this as well and uh, we'll just go ahead and maybe reuse it again flow map okay so we'll go use it flow map for this only you know what instead uh using where the flow going instead i want to inverse this and we'll go to filters take inverse and just you know put it between them values okay so right here Okay, and then next, I want this one control some of the masking. And we'll just, let's go use it some maybe um, slopes for this. So we'll look. Okay, right here, example, slope selection. So we'll go take high field. Okay, we'll take this high field connecting to our slope selection. Okay, and inside our slope selection, okay, select slope. So we'll go probably all the way up and maybe you know just slightly down so you, you can play around with what slope altitude this is a little bit more on a flat i want to do it but i don't want to apply to everything so i want this apply to kind of areas avoiding some of those uh, flaws and for this i'm going to use this masks so we'll go to select okay except i did this before curl so i need to remove it let's put this right here and control mask before because we have a number and we have a color so if we do otherwise we cannot control it and you can see we start adding those effects and we'll go now connecting from this point actually you know even maybe before coralizer we can put a color as a before and connect this as a mask so let's do that okay and you know what let's go take this one and connect to a high field okay we also go change to maybe sanitary and you can play around 
I was thinking because it's cover. In this case, we'll go take um, additional combiner. Okay, so let's take this combiner. We'll take this combiner top, add right here, and our mask will kind of apply additionally. You can see we have now this edge is added, which is very nice looking. Okay, let's go switch to the root, so a little bit better blending on this case. And we can go connect overlay to this point. So let's go click um, preview, render. So you can see we already add quite a bit map to this. So you have a nice um, coloring going with nice flow. There may be some add a little bit more to this edges, maybe green if we want to add like right here. You can see we have some starting those bluish greenish color that we apply kind of poking through. But it's already can be easy work like in maybe YouTube or some other areas okay next what i want to do it is creating bitmap because this is overlay view i want to actually take output go to the bitmap output let's go back right here and kind of connecting to this okay at this point you can always go and kind of specify files you want to save it and which format and I usually use TFF 16-bit is kind of nice it does not give you um, as many artifacts as other ones and we also can go inside the settings right here now it's very low resolution so I'm going to pop up quite a bit high you know one image higher in this case and mostly even I use it low resolution but this is will give me without pixelizations very nice but if I'm doing this resolution it will pop up a quite bit of render time so be careful what you're using this for so but I'm going just to use this resolution to render I will pause this tutorial and I will come back when the render is completed so we can go in the next part and import inside the view and kind of see how we can come up in a view to continue working with this okay so we'll done that one and I'm going to render like I say, we'll come back when render is completed.